control? Nothing. Um, okay, so if you had to summarize Harmony, how would you, like in a few sentences, how would you do that? Um, as few sentences as possible. Well, we've been comparing it, we've been saying it's a, a cross between Equilibrium and Psychopaths. It is, but I would say they also. An interesting thing is. Let's say, in order to explain it, I have to explain my explanation. This is difficult. Okay, well, explain it like, first, and then go into the explanation. Okay, so... Because, like, just as an introduction of what we're talking about, because, you know, like... Okay, well, in Equilibrium, the big thing is that they, they give people drugs to suppress their emotions, right? No big deal. However, in Symph... 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 Symphony. Harmony... <laughs> Symph... Harmony! <laughs> in Harmony... They're not incapable of feeling emotion. Like it like it quite clearly shows that like the mom is just like an absolute wreck after events happen. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Um so it's not quite that same thing. In psychopaths, it's kind of the opposite, where they they are suppressing people's emotions in a different way, but they still can feel the whole range of emotions, it's just like they're almost ha they have this whole medical system set up about, you know, once you reach a certain level, it has to be dealt with in a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I think th those those components are very well reflected in Harmony. However, a very interesting key point in some of the Ghost in the Shell works is the, the idea of consciousness and how it relates to artificial intelligence. Was, intelligence I? I was going to bring that up. I was, uh, like... Maybe like a third of the way through the movie, I started thinking like, well, I'm I'm not as familiar as the Ghost in the Shell with the Ghost in the Shell sort of, you know, franchise as you. But I, the whole when they started going more into like the consciousness thing, I wanted to bring up like, oh, does this give you any sort of like, uh, do you see any parallels with um, Ghost in the Shell as well as uh, the other two that we mentioned before? Very much so. So. Like, I, I would actually, thinking about it since, you know, the, the few minutes ago, since we stopped, it, like we said, we've been saying, you know, equilibrium slash psychopaths, I would venture, like, if I were to compare it, I would venture that those are two sides of the same coin, and this is actually more of an amalgamation of that coin and Ghost in the Shell. Although this Harmony spoiler doesn't contain artificial intelligence per se, but it very heavily deals with the concept of consciousness and free will. Mm -hmm. And that's very much comes into play in some of the works in Ghost in the Shell. Mm -hmm. So, did you think that again, it might it might be because, like, just I haven't been able to process it properly, but you know, the usual, usual formula for for um, sort of any kind of uh, anime, or animated or not, like, there's usually sort of a, a protagonist, a antagonist, or group of either, uh, whether or not it switches, it, it can happen, but it's usually well established by the end of the film, but I haven't figured out, like, I don't... Well, that's, that's... That's why that kind of goes into what I was saying about the the interesting nuances of the plot. It's kind of the movie where the bad guy, quote unquote, the antagonist, almost is kind of tricking the quote unquote good guys into doing something that accomplishes the quote unquote bad guy's agenda. Okay, so Mia, M Mia, 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 I don't even know how to say her name. They pronounce. I would have. I would have pronounced it me Mia with the C H, but they in the anime they pronounce it Mia. So. Like Mia. Mia. <laughs> <Meow. Yes. laughs> so, she she her her the little rogue faction that you never see other than just her. They have the power to make these people seemingly do anything they want, although they make them kill themselves. It's only the threat of that power that causes all this other stuff to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, they quite clearly say that all she did was, I mean, yeah, she made the first, the first batch, if you want to call it that, kill themselves and right. that reporter. But after that, 
it's I think it's pretty clearly stated that she that everybody else is going ape shit is their own doing and the only reason she's doing that is to get them to activate harmony to make everybody turn into happy vegetables so that's why I'm saying like she tricks the good guys again this is all like a extended series of air quotes into doing something that is really what she wanted to do as the antagonist so you know take that for how you want to interpret it in relation to your question I guess is really up to the viewer no yeah I, like the reason I brought it up was because I'm just I feel like this is just one of those films that is sort of try sort of you know screw, screw the traditional formula just to provoke thought from the viewers mm -hmm. it's yeah. not meant to have sort of like good versus evil you know kind of definitive roles for their characters it's just sort of because i mean like it definitely didn't end like in my in my opinion that wasn't a very firstly Strong. it wasn't like there was there was for me there was no closure um, yeah but also you know that in itself is sort of like sort of like an open question kind of thing like just to like make you think and just yeah I mean I movies that end that way or any subject matter that ends that way like I get like I get from the creator's perspective because you know being a GM there's definitely a lot of cases where I feel I probably did this and it and it was like ooh look at my artsy fanciness that provokes thought but seeing it from the other side you're just kind of like what um, yeah like there's there's they're leaving it open to interpretation but they i i they assume aren't giving you like yeah it's like here's the number two figure out how to get to hunter like well i can add two 50 times i can multiply two by 50 i can take a 200 divide it by two you know like it's kind of a, a really open-ended thing that i i personally dislike partly because I'm unimaginative, but partly because I feel they're not giving you something to interpret what they're putting out when I would assume, emphasis on the assume, that they created this this ending with their own thought process going into it, and it's just kind of like draw your own conclusions, but they're not going to match what we wanted, or what we thought of, so there's no really telling if your thought your conclusion you're drawing is actually what we want you to draw or what we drew from it and I don't know there's just a, a separation there that I really dislike as a audience member a viewer a right. no yeah and there's also the added dimension that it was originally a, bo a book book or a light novel I'm, I'm pretty sure it's an actual novel and not only that what um but uh from what I've read I haven't done enough research on this and I should if if we do continue this talk sometime is that it's part of a trilogy. I don't think that they are directly linked, but like I think that they, I, I would think that they would at least sort of complement each other, each other in terms of the idea that, you know, whatever idea is being portrayed is sort mm. of stronger. If you have read, like at least Harmony the book or, you know, better, you know, all three of them. So, you know, there's that as well. Like, you know, the film probably, uh, you know, I, I, I personally don't know how far they deviated from the original text. Uh, right. they, they could have left some stuff out that, you know, people that don't have only read the book, you know, could pick up on, which would sort of, you know, give them, uh, you know, a slightly a more, more insight. Yeah, insight or, you know, clearer image of what. The, the, the creators were trying to portray or, you know, the questions that they wanted to ask, like, you know, have the audience ask. So, you know, I, while it, it also irks me too, where, where the ending is a little bit too open-ended, you know, I, I, I am taking that into account. So, um, which is why I want to read the book now. Yeah, definitely. I also feel that, a, you know, the book aside, I feel that it's one of those um, definitely one of those films where you would probably pick up on things a lot, like a second time a uh, second time through, or at mm. least thinking about it a lot longer than we have. <laughs> yeah. 
Me, because I mean, it was, me, it, it was very, it, it, in, the the basic principle of it, seems simple, but, you know, I personally feel like there was a lot of information process, and, because um, like what you said, it wasn't just sort of like, equilibrium and psychopaths melted together. If if that were the case, I probably wouldn't be having such a hard time. The fact that they added in the whole sort of like thing with consciousness and you know, free will, like, that sort of threw me. Not in a good or a bad way, just sort of, like, it increased it the amount of data I had to process, and yeah. I'm still trying to process, kind of thing. Me, like, I, I don't think it de necessarily detracts from the overall thing, but, like, Miyaka's character, like, other than basically saying her little... See, I don't even... They, 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 keep, they kept referring to it as group... Or, or no, what they use what they the, what they translated as may not be directly ref, uh, correctly relate to the original word they use in Japanese, but the sub populace that Mika's from, they basically state, well, they don't they don't basically state the way I interpret the information they give about them basically indicates that they have a hereditary disorder causing them to feel emotional dysphoria. In the form of, of there's probably a fancier way to say it, but of being a psychopath. Like the way they describe it is basically almost quite like your textbook psychopath. They you know have no emotional range whatsoever, and and they're basically just faking it. Like Wouldn't um, that what's her name from sociopath? Wait, is that is that sociopath or psycho? I think it's psychopath actually. I I have, I thought it was sociopath because. I mean, like, I don't even know if it's, like, a psychology course, but, like, I'm going off the Hitman games where, like, sociopath was when you could, like, sort of just, it seemed like you were blending in, but really you're not, and psychopath is more sort of, like, active aggression, kind of actively violent kind of thing. Let's see. Uh... Google defines sociopath as a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior and a lack of consciousness. Or lack of conscience. Okay, psychopath is a person suffering from chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. So, yeah, they'd be sociopath, not psychopath. I apologize. Um, they're, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, but that doesn't No, yeah, that's... The, well, I, I, yeah, I, I, I was... I didn't mean to. No, no, no. I'm I'm glad you said that because because I I've been using it the wrong word for the wrong thing, but um, I had a point somewhere. What was it? So yeah, basically they had a condition that essentially made them sociopaths. Yeah, yeah. So they had a hereditary condition that basically made them sociopaths. Cool, clever, actually. I think um, the rest of her character story that we weren't that we learned the exact details of in the last ten minutes which is really terrible and like really painful and sucks terribly i hate to say it but it felt cliche like it did and the reason i, I say I that because in the, Sorry, in, the, in the in the middle part of the movie when they're when the, the mom's explaining like where she came from i was like oh i know where this is going and i was 100 yeah. percent correct and i was just like 